All right, I'm going to begin this video with a little bit of my past simply because unless you've ever been homeless, you can't put your yourself in the shoes of someone who is homeless. When you are homeless, a shelter means everything. And at 16 years old, I was homeless. I was in my car. I spent two years in the streets. I lived in a car. I thank, thank our creator. I had a car, big 79 Buick LeSabre that I could sleep in. This is more than these families that just got kicked out into the street have. And so our creator has helped us and he will help them. But when you are homeless, your house means absolutely everything. And this woman who is recording this, her name is Trish. Her name is Trisha. And the gentleman who's, who's holding the phone, his name is Aaron. Very, very, very nice people. Now, what this woman says, Deborah Weiss or Robin or whatever her, her fake name is, is very, very, very cruel. First and foremost, when you are homeless and where this was a family of five and they had been homeless for a long time, you can imagine that the kids had no clothes, the holes and all their stuff. A homeless lifestyle, you don't have a ton. You have a little bit and you're very, very thankful for what you have and our creator does take care of us. But when they came on board, the Hallelujah Scriptures said they were going to buy them some clothes. So they got a list of some stuff for $2,000, which for a family of five who has almost no clothes and everything is beat up and busted up, that's not a lot. So anyway, as Trisha goes in and explains why her daughter has psoriasis, Deborah doesn't give a rip. Now, as you hear the interactions of Deborah with this couple and with all of these, please understand that a woman like this that talks about beggars not being pleasers and that um, if, you, if you're from the streets, you need to uh, think like you're from the streets. Guys, do you think there's any orphans, widows, or lepers? When you hear these conversations in the heart of a demon that is clearly demonic and clearly trying to hurt this little family, it, it's, it's just very, very clear. Guys, the, the, the smoke screen is off. These people are evil. When you guys hear this, please pass this around. These things need to go around. The Hallelujah Scriptures does not care about poor people. They do not care about orphans, widows, or lepers. They care about themselves. They are a criminal enterprise. The place needs to be audited with the IRS. The cops need to seize the house in Arkansas. They need to seize the house in New Jersey. And they need to bring this criminal enterprise to justice because they've been feasting on the backs of Yah's people for a very long time. Now listen to this. But I wanted to go over there quickly. Um, uh, Trish, we gave you the $2,000 to buy some thermal clothes for the children. I haven't got those receipts yet and um, our bookkeeper's asking me about that. Um, did you get the shoes and all the thermal clothes? Because we made a list. I haven't got all of it yet, no, because I can't get the right sizes where they're available. We've been having a lot of shipping and supply issues with Amazon, and then I'm having issues when I'm doing the shopping. I did get some of the things, which I forwarded you guys all the receipts for that, but I still I still have it, and I'm still shopping for it. The boys um, really do, uh, like, they have, they're fine on boots, and whatnot but and they have their rain gear we sent all of that forward but i don't want to get anything that's not a natural fabric um allison gets a lot of um rashes for she has a psoriasis and it causes a lot of irritation with skin so i would like for it to be all cotton basically i'm still i'm still working on getting the rest of the gear <laughs> but i will forward those on as soon yeah, as we get it they need thermals. Uh, you know, we've got a, I don't know what you call it, the polar fleece. That's what, what's very warm for them. Sometimes we just have to, as long as it's one one, one material, sometimes we can't, beggars can't, as my mother used to say, beggars can't be pleasers. <laughs> oh, no, it's not about that. Them. It's about it's their, really, it's it's uh, about the uh, health. I'm just saying, uh, I want to talk about Alison's thriasis. If you just, I know, but then if we've got nothing and we're on the streets and we've got nothing, you know, we have to, we have to think like that as well. But can I just ask a question? If, uh, I'll email you about the psoriasis because I can clear that up very quickly. That's not a problem. It's, it's a deficiency. And I've dealt with it for many, many, many years. So I can tell you what to 